Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and manage Google Classroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how teachers can start the Google Classroom and from a student point of view, how the students can see their classroom on screen. So be with me till the end. You're watching Code Mania. Let's get started. the first thing that you have to do is to open a web browser whichever web browser is available you can open that web browser after opening the web browser you have to go to google.com after opening google you have to log in with your google account okay make sure that you are logged in with your google account now after opening the google account with google.com you can click on this google apps okay uh, if you click on this, you are going to get so many Google apps over here. You can scroll down and uh, check out your Google Classroom if it is anywhere it is there. I have Google Classroom here. You can uh, select and shift it according to your choice. Okay. Now, after clicking on Google Classroom, you will be di directly directed to the uh, Google Classroom uh, website or you can say interface. And suppose you don't find Google Classroom from that Google Apps, you can directly go to this web address and uh, you can reach to Google Classroom. Okay. Now, after opening Google Classroom, first I'm going to show you the teacher's point of view. Okay. How a teacher can uh, start their class. Okay. To start a class, you have to click on this plus sign. Okay and then click on create class okay i have a uh, i have two options there join class and create class so i have to click on create class uh, then i have to click over here continue and then yes i'm going to get few options here so here i have to write my class name class name is uh, suppose uh, computer section any section you want to write suppose uh, 10 a okay subject uh, suppose java okay room anything you want to write suppose i'm writing 12 then you have to click on create okay after clicking on create uh, you're going to get your classroom okay just wait for a few moments and then you're going to get your classroom now here i have got my classroom okay now from here i can select a theme from my classroom then upload my classroom photographs if i want to upload anything okay now this is my class name computer then 10a this is my class section okay now here is the most important thing that you got class code okay now this is the class code that a student has to uh, copy or the, the student has to write this in their interface to join the class okay now what a student is going to do yeah, the student has to write this in their interface so uh, first of all the teacher can copy this code and mail them or in any other medium they can send to their students okay now right now i'm going to copy this invite link okay and uh, then i'm going to show you how a student is going to join okay so i'm opening another interface and i'm going to join as a student okay here i'm with the students view so the student also has to open google in their web browser and after opening google you make sure you are logged in with your gmail id after that you click over here on google apps uh, then google classroom so here i'm searching for google classroom yes it is here after clicking on google classroom yeah so here's the interface of google classroom now for joining the class you have to click on this plus sign and then join class okay now uh, as you can see the google classroom is locked in with the gmail id you have to click over here in the class code and paste the uh, the class code okay and you can even write the class code which is provided by the teacher and then it is here join class you have to click over there join class after clicking on join class you'll be joining the particular class yeah so i have joined the class uh, as you can see computer 10a so i have joined this class now uh, if the teacher is going to provide any kind of assignment class work or something how the teacher or the student is going to see the screen that so here again we are in teachers view and now here we can see few options okay stream classwork people grades so first i'm going to go to classwork and give some classwork to my students 
so for giving class works first you have to click on create okay now after clicking on create you're going to have few options like assignment quiz questions material reuse post or topic so first I'm going to click on topic so that I can create a topic so I'm creating here a recursion okay and I'm clicking on add so here I'm creating a topic which is called recursion and I'm going to give some notes to my students okay now to publish anything or you can say uh, if I want to share something with, a, with my students what I should do I should click on create here and then what I want to do I want to create a material okay so if I click on a material then what I need to create a material then uh, um, okay class notes okay now I want to write some description they can then I can write some description but it is optional if you want to write write otherwise leave it then now if you want to share with some notes okay or uh, YouTube video or anything then you have some options like Google Drive if you suppose any documents are already saved in your Google Drive you can have it or link any link any website link or any kind of articles you want to share with your students you can click on this link file the same thing if you have any file in your computer then you can also have this file and then YouTube now suppose if you have any kind of YouTube video then also you can have it so I have a YouTube video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a new tab and then I'm going to have YouTube and uh, the same thing I'm going to have my own channels video so I'm going to write code mania okay then I'm going to have this recursion in Java yeah so I want to share this video so I'm going to click the web view okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this YouTube video and I'm going to pass the link over here so if I search for that video yeah I've got the video now I'm going to attach this this video to my students I'm going to click on add yeah so after adding this video now I want to create something now I can click on create docs slides I'm going to get so many options to create something now if I want to create a PPT so I can create from slides I want to make a document then I'm going to get Google Docs okay now you don't have to uh, install any uh, third-party software uh, for this Google classroom everything is inbuilt you can use them and share your thoughts okay so right now I'm uh, just sharing a uh, YouTube video and I'm writing here uh, please watch it and make notes okay so now here I'm going to click on post okay so here uh, before posting I can see some uh, options are here like post schedule save draft etc so post I can post it right now schedule I can have a schedule like tomorrow or uh, any date I can have or save it as draft okay now we can have this options for 10 computer all students now here also I have some options like if I want to share with all the students or any selective students now if suppose I want to share this thing with some selective students then I can also do that uh, like if I, I have only one student over here so I cannot show you the rest students so here I'm choosing all the students okay so topic now if I want to choose any topic like create topic I can create topic over here or I can have recursion here fine so I'm clicking on post so here the assignment or uh, here right now you can say a uh, material has been posted or uh, now whichever students are joining in your class whichever are, or has already joined they can see your post from their screen so let us see how the students going to see the shared post on their screen so let us go to their view and check so here we are again with uh, students view and here I can see stream was up uploaded okay so here I'm going to click on show or else I'm going to reset or you can say refresh my page okay so here I have got yes a notification code mania posted a new material class notes okay so I'm going to click over here and yes I can see recursion in Java the YouTube video which is shared by my teacher and even I can give a comment uh, thank you or else I can click on this video and I can play it right here 
okay so this is how a student is going to check their class work or any material uh, given by the teacher okay so now let us see how a teacher is going to give some work or assignment to the students or even how a teacher can conduct a test for the students so let us go back to the teachers view and check it so here we are in teachers view again and now we are going to create assignment for the students okay now we have to click on create and then we can see there are so many options like assignment quiz assignments questions etc so now i'm going to click on assignment okay so here if i want to take an examination or suppose anything else so any test or something then i what i'm going to write the test name suppose uh, class test okay instruction now whatever test instructions i want to give i can write uh, here okay this is even optional now if suppose you have a big uh, class test rules you can write over here now the data for the class test like the question paper or any other things that you have made then you can add it over here uh, as we can see add option is here we can have the same options google drive link file or youtube now if suppose you have the question paper in your google drive you can click on google drive and add the link of the question paper now if suppose you have already created a form google form then you have to click on link and you just have to get the google form links over here okay uh, just paste the google uh, form link over here and then add link the link will be supplied to the students and they can easily open the google form okay now if you have created any question paper then you have to click on file and then you can upload the question paper using this file option just you have to click on browse and after clicking on browse you're going to have your computer location just select that file and upload it over here you can upload any uh, type of file suppose like pdf word document anything or suppose you want to create a question paper over here then also you can create it you have to click on docs slides anything any uh, medium you want to open you can open it and then create your question paper okay so suppose i am uh, adding here a file uh, i'm going to click on upload then browse okay and uh, then any file i want to have then i can have it okay so i am here this one okay so this file is uploading okay the file is uploaded okay now here students can view file so here we have option student can edit file make a copy for each student so i am just selecting student can view file okay now for here sending options here for class 10 it is already by default selected because i have only one class created now all students again the same thing same options will be coming if you want to select for particular students uh, the, the selected students will all, only receive this otherwise you click on all students okay now then points the points are by default 100 you can give your own points suppose like if i'm giving out of 70 then i can give 70 marks due date now you can create a due date here if you if suppose a, any particular date or time you want to give then you can set it from here see it has written no due date you just click on this arrow and uh, set a date suppose i'm clicking on 3rd october uh, the time is optional even i can give the time uh, suppose 10 a.m. so I'm writing 10 a.m. okay and here I'm creating it a.m. okay so now the date and time both are fixed yes we can see the date and time over here topic you can give a topic so I'm taking a test on recursion so I have selected uh, recursion topic even you can create your own topic right here okay so now you can click on assign yes it is assigned to your students now let us go back to the students view and then see how the students are going to give their test so here we are in students view and uh, we can see a uh, notification here code mania posted a new assignment class test okay so here i can see the class test uh, okay middleware technologies i can click over here uh, okay i can see the question paper now if you want to open the question paper through google docs even you can do that uh, i have opened over opened it here yeah i already told you don't have to uh, install any third party software to for uh, using google docs okay 
now a student can write the test in their own notebooks and they can upload the photographs of their notebooks even by uh, converting into the pdf or any other format okay now if suppose a student want to create the assignment or the test uh, here so they can click on add to create they can uh, have link file google drive anything they can upload their own file uh, i mean suppose they have written the test or assignment in their notebooks and they want to upload it so they can upload via file link or google drive even suppose the student wants to create the document or create, want to give the test over here through google docs they can use the google docs slides sheets drawings anything okay so if suppose i want to submit my assignment so i'm going to click on file and uh, then I, if suppose i want to upload a file if i'm clicking on uh, upload mm -hmm. then browse then any file i want to upload then suppose i'm clicking off uh, this one okay so i'm just uh, selecting a random file uh, to show you only okay so i have uploaded a file here yes okay you can see the file is uploading okay and then click on turn in okay so yes turn in yeah now the file is going to uh, teacher's desk okay now your teacher is going to review and then you are going to get the grades okay so now i'm going to uh, teacher's view and show you how the teacher is going to check the document or the file and then grade the student okay so here we are in teacher's view now we uh, i'm going to show you how the teacher is going to check the assignment or the test papers okay so the teacher is going to click over here the three lines i can see yeah now here we have to click on to review okay so after clicking on to review i'm going to get yeah the assignment or the test paper which is uh, submitted by my students so class test i can see this assignment uh, i can see yes uh, yeah my one student has sent an assignment over here yes i can see the student name so i'm going to click over here the assignment will be opening and i can check that so here you can see the assignment is opening okay the assignment is open here okay now yeah so here on right hand side you can see the grades are here okay you can even add some private comments if you want to tell your students some in, 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 in the mistakes or uh, the appreciation anything you want to comment you can comment even uh, you can add a comment over here suppose any line anything you want to check suppose i am selecting this line and uh, then i am writing a comment um, i am writing syntax mistake so a private comment so that the uh, student can understand yes where uh, he has done a mistake see the line is selected and it is written syntax mistake okay so so i am writing a grade suppose i am giving 30 out of 70 and um, a comment and then post so i am posting the grades and with the comments okay everything is posted now this is going to to the uh, students view okay so i'm going to go back to the students view and let's check out how the students going to get the grades so here we are in students view now we are going to see how to check the grades which is given by the teacher okay so here we have a column which is upcoming and here we are going to click on view all okay so after clicking on view all the two student can see the grades and the assignment okay so the grades are here yes we can see the grades here and the comment which is given by my teacher yes it is written practice okay it is the comment now if you click on view details then the students can see what are the different types of things he has done and the rest details whatever the students wants to check okay so this is how the students are going to check the details now if suppose your teacher has given some other work how can you check you just have to click on this three lines and then you have to click on to do list okay so this assignment missing and done okay now every detail is present for the student okay this is the class test this is the grades okay no uh, due date okay everything is here for the students okay so this is how we use the google classroom i hope i have explained the google classroom properly okay now if you have any kind of questions regarding google classroom any kind of confusion you can write in comment box 
If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channels for more tutorials and this kind of videos. Thank you so much.